guys, welcome to my channel. So I've been doing a lot of food videos lately and a lot of them have been geared towards chocolates, candy, sodas, things like that. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. This is something that basically claims to be a health food item and it is the mushroom hot cocoa mix or hot cacao mix. I'm not sure how they are pronouncing it, but it's got rice in it and it's from Four Sigmatic. I've been seeing this everywhere. So when I say everywhere, I mean I've been seeing it at health food stores. I've been seeing I saw it at Sephora. Um, just like it just keeps popping it up in like social media and everything like that. So I've been curious about it. I am a fan of mushroom. I'm definitely not one of those people who is put off by it or will avoid it actively. So this is something that would be appealing to me. It claims to have health benefits, and my basic philosophy about this is. I eat everything. I don't subscribe to any particular diet. I just try to eat as balanced and as healthy as possible. I don't omit things. I don't go out of my way to overly indulge in things that are said to be healthy because my feeling is over the years, I've seen foods be um, sort of canonized as this is the thing that's going to save your life and add years to your life. And I've seen things be torn down as if they're the worst thing for you. And sometimes it's the very same food. So like one year, this is the worst thing. You should never eat it. You're going to have a heart attack and die. And the next year, oh, it wasn't that bad. Actually, it's a good thing to have in your diet once in a while. So I don't pay too, too much attention to that. I like to read up and know a little bit about what's going on or why something could have a benefit, but I don't overindulge and I don't omit. I just try to enjoy everything. So I'm coming from the perspective of a foodie. This is a food item. It is basically a hot chocolate that has mushrooms in it. It may or may not be good for me. I'm less concerned about that, but I will share what I do know from the packaging so that you can know. Um, but for me, again, if it tastes good, then it's something that I can enjoy and I can incorporate into my diet. And if it's something that doesn't taste good, then it almost doesn't matter how healthy it is because there are things out there that we know are good for us. And they're usually things that come from the earth. So you could just kind of go that route and not buy prepackaged things. So that's where I'm coming from. And that's what we're doing today. This has a USDA organic stamp of approval on it. Like I said, it's Four Sigmatic is the name of the company. And I'm always a little skeptical when health food things start showing up at places like Sephora. Um, I'm not saying that they can't carry good for you things. I'm just saying that if I'm seeking something out, I would tend to want to go to um, a place where they kind of go out of their way to cater for healthy things. But I have seen this in mom and pop health food stores as well as chain health food stores and just kind of everywhere. So I think this is an item that is being pushed um, pretty heavily. I paid, or actually my friend treated me this to this because I was intrigued. I paid $1.99 for this packet. I know that if you buy uh, a box, which is how it's usually sold, you're probably gonna save a little bit of money, but not a lot. This has an expiration date of February 2021. So that's a very long shelf life, especially for something that comes from the organic world because organic things usually don't last as long. This makes one serving and it's supposed to be added to 3.5 ounces of water. So if you think about it, we think of a glass as eight ounces and we think of servings in like relative to eight ounces. This is a very small cup. I'm thinking like teacup. So I'm going to make it that way. So we get a taste And this particular one is sweet and cinnamon flavored. And uh, last thing is they have other flavors as well that I've seen, but this is the flavor that was most appealing to me. I'm going to tell you a little bit more before I actually put it together and try it with you. Um, the ingredients are organic cocoa powder, organic coconut palm sugar, organic, I think it's pronounced reishi or reishi extract, uh, organic cinnamon, organic cardamom, uh, cardamom extract, Reb A, which apparently is an organic stevia leaf extract, which is a sweetener. Um, and it does have tree nuts and um, coconut apparently is the thing that they're referring to. So little packet here we go let's see what it looks like what it smells like if it's worth it all right ready it smells cinnamony it smells like i opened a container of cinnamon and just took a whiff that's all i'm smelling um i like cinnamon in things i don't like it when it's the predominant flavor so i'm hoping that this actually tastes more like chocolate or something else and just with a hint of cinnamon i'm just that person that likes a hint of cinnamon in something like apple pie with a hint of cinnamon or whatever with a hint of cinnamon so if this ends up tasting straight like 
it does say sweet and cinnamon, so it's likely, um, I'm probably not going to like it. So this is the powder right here. I just have it in a glass mug so you can see it. I'm about to go over here and pour some water that I just boiled. So it should still be really hot. And we're going to go for that 3.5 ounces because I don't think it's going to taste quite as good. I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's 3.5 ounces. And even if it's a little bit less, that's okay because... I don't want to dilute it so much that it doesn't have any flavor. And I have this really cool spoon. Check that out. It's a favorite, favorite item of mine, item of mine. So I'm still smelling cinnamon. It's just very cinnamony. So if you love cinnamon, I think this is something for you to consider. I would say just get the single packet before you go out and buy the box because it's quite pricey. Um, it's not like a $4.99 thing. It's like, I don't know, 20-ish dollars. Okay, so it mixed very quickly. Um, the water was hot. And it might take me a second before I can take a sip, but I wanted to tell you a few things. This is what it looks like. Um, so it almost looks like like tea with milk. Um, smells super cinnamony. It mixed very easily. It almost felt a little watery looking, almost like when you make tea, but like you don't let the tea bag sit quite long enough to get the the color you want but it's not so bad the color is actually quite pretty you can see it right there I'm gonna see if I can knock a sip off without like burning my tongue otherwise we might have to pause for a minute yeah it's too hot so I'm gonna be back in about two minutes okay so I'm back it is still kind of on the hot side but I wanted to try it when it's like warm enough or hot enough that it's tasting the way it's supposed to and not let it cool down too much so um Ready for this? All right, here we go. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take another sip in a few minutes, but this is my honest first impression. I totally wouldn't ever drink this again. This, to me, just tastes like water with some cinnamon in it. There's nothing there to round it out. It's not complete tasting. It's not full tasting. It most definitely doesn't evoke the hot chocolate flavor that I was kind of hoping for. I was kind of imagining it would be like, like a fake version of hot chocolate that like you could trick yourself into liking maybe, or maybe it would be really good. Um, definitely just has a cinnamon, just cinnamon flavor. It's very watery, very cinnamony. I suppose I could have put a little bit less water, but I honestly think even if I had used half the amount, which is way less than 3.5 ounces, I still think it was going to taste watery because there's nothing there to give it any sort of depth. Um, so personally, it's an absolute fail for me. It's $2 a packet. Um, it was not tasty. Again, it may or may not have the nutritional value that you're looking for. So if you're a person that really is very thoughtful about what you eat and drink and you care more about that, I think it's worth looking into, see what the benefits are and if it's worth it to you. And if you like cinnamon, then you're going to feel very differently about this because if I loved cinnamon, I'd say, okay, it's still a watery cinnamon drink. So for me, that doesn't work. But maybe, maybe if you drink it cold, maybe if you put it on ice, like there's just different things that you could do to make it work. And if you like that flavor, it's a profile that appeals to you. But for me, it is just a watery mess. It's just watery. It tastes just a little bit like cinnamon. It doesn't have anything else there to support it flavor wise. And again, for me, if it doesn't taste good, I don't care how organic it is. I don't care how healthy it's going to be. If I don't enjoy consuming it, I'm not going to. There's other healthy things out there that I could be taking in. So I'm going to try one more time just to be fair um, because, again, this is a first impression, but I can tell you there's nothing to compel me to, like, finish the rest of this or to go out and buy it anymore or to offer it to somebody because I just wouldn't because that's just mean. Yeah, it's just it's just really bad. So that's that. Um, I think if you added a packet of Swiss Miss to it, <laughs> it would taste much, much, much better. And I'm not even a fan of Swiss Miss, so that's saying a lot. Um, so anyhow, the Four Sigmatic Mushroom, whatever it was, um, I'm making a face. I just can't. I can't. Yeah, I mean, it is trying to be hot cocoa. So the Mushroom Hot Cocoa is an absolute fail. 
I personally do not care for it. Uh, I do not mean to offend anybody who does like it because it is possible, again, especially if you do like cinnamon, um, that you might like it. Or if you were to put like a stevia or something, I don't know. I just know that for me, absolutely no, definitely not. Will not be finishing that. It will go right down the sink. Um, please comment below. I'm sure that some of you out there have tried it or are planning on trying it. Please let me know what you thought. I would actually love to hear from somebody who loved it and thought it was great. And I want to know what it is about it that appealed to you because I'm just curious. But again, I'm not turned off by mushrooms. I, in fact, I was really excited about the mushroom aspect, but it just doesn't, it doesn't have any sort of like earthiness or anything that would evoke mushrooms at all. It doesn't have any sort of chocolate type of feeling or something that would remind me of a cup of hot cocoa aside from the color, um, which is actually a nice color, uh, but that there isn't a flavor there to match it. And I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon. I don't dislike cinnamon, but I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon. So drinking cinnamon water isn't something that I want to do. So please comment below. Um, also, please like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel. This was a health food item, but mostly I do things that are tasty and that tend to lean towards either gourmet or totally straight up junk food. It's usually one extreme or the other. I have videos up for a lot of really fun things. So definitely check those out and they will be linked in the box below. And there's a lot more videos coming up for food and beauty. So definitely stay tuned. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a great day. Take care.